Modi government's plan to curb smoking may put ITC's cigarette business in jeopardy. Reports indicate that the government may aggressively hike taxes on cigarettes in the upcoming budget. If implemented, this will have a significant impact on ITC, both in terms of volumes and pricing. That stock has been down nearly 7% uh, from a one-month standpoint. Sunanda and Prerna are standing by to discuss this a little further. Prerna, take us through what could happen if there is a, a likely... A uh, hike in, in in taxes on on ITC. What's the, what's the li likely impact on the business? Well, if excise duty on cigarettes is raised further in the upcoming budget, it will be a huge negative for the cigarette major. The move will translate into further rise in cigarette prices. Analysts believe that prices may be high by up to 14% once implemented. Now, remember, ITC increased prices by up to 15% in FY14. ITC may also have to deal with the 5 to 6% volume degrowth, which will again translate into huge earning uh, pressure. Now, I ITC stock, which tanked 6.5% during trades on Monday, may face negative degrading if excise duty is hiked by at least 20%. Now, the health minister suggested that all cigarettes in India should carry an uniform tax of 3.5 rupee per stick and length-based duties should be done away with. Remember, about 80% of ITC's volumes are from the 64 and 69 mm cigarettes, which caters to the fairly price-conscious consumers. Consumers. So currently, ITC's weighted average excise duty is around 1.8 rupee per stick. So the health minister's suggestion to hike taxes further implies almost a 100% rise in taxes. Back to you. Fair point, uh, Prerna. So, Nanda, you know, how, what then is ITC doing about this? Is it, uh, how, how, you know, it's been diversifying for a very long time. Uh, does this sort of expand its diversification plans? Absolutely, Harsha, and it's been diversifying quite aggressively the past couple of quarters. You know, like Prerna was pointing out, 80% of the total revenues of ITC used to come from the cigarette business, but over the past 10 to 12 quarters, it's seen that decreasing consistently. In fact, in Q4 of FY14, it saw that coming in only at 62%. That's far as far as, you know, revenues go, but volumes have also continued falling. Now, uh, in uh, FY13, it saw an excise duty hike of 20%. FY14, it hiked it by 18%. And tied to that, it's seen volumes falling. Volumes fell by about 3-odd percent uh, in uh, Q4 of FY14 alone. As expected, that could fall further if this excise duty hike goes. Now, that said, it has also been quite bullish as far as the non-cigarette business goes. It is still quite small, but let me run you through what they're doing there. For example, Edelweiss, in a note, has said that uh, hotels and paper business, they said for a dream run going forward, it says that a majority and business-friendly government are, uh, going, to, uh, are going to be uh, huge positives for both these sectors. The revenue contribution from the hotels business, if you looked at Q4, that came in rather flat, but the EBIT margins jumped nearly 44, uh, uh, 47%, and it's believed that uh, the government is going to try and boost tourism going forward quite aggressively. Paper business, input costs have continued rising, but... Again, this majority government uh, is expected to be very good news for the paper business. In fact, uh, Edelweiss is saying going forward, it expects a positive EBIT base for the paper business, Asha. Interesting. Let's wait and watch how that story unfolds. Thanks, Ananda, for that. But analysts, meanwhile, believe that this excise duty or the possible excise duty spells bad news for the country's largest cigarette maker uh, and that stock that's been under pressure. Listen in. If one looks at the past history of uh, excise increases under the previous uh, NDA government versus the UPA governments, there is no reason to suggest that uh, it is going to be completely contrary to what has happened in the past. So therefore, we remain uh, hopeful that uh, the, the news is just news and may not follow through in the budget. The empirical evidence at least suggests that uh, that uh, most of these fears in ITC peak before the budget and, 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 and then kind of there is a relief after that, which is, which is something which could happen this time also. The excise duty hike that he has proposed and probably planning to suggest it to the FM to probably execute it is going to be uh, very degrading for this kind of, for the stock. From one and a half rupees excise duty, on the whole portfolio, rising it up to three and a half, you mean two rupees uh, increase uh, in the cost, uh, completely wipes out the net realization for IATC. Obviously, this means that they are going to take some price increase, which again, in effect, will go to, you know, sort of severely hurt the volumes. If you again uh, expect a, a two rupee kind of a hike uh, per stick, 
I think uh, the volume uh, degrowth uh, could intensify and which is where the concern would be. So uh, our sense is that it is better to wait it out rather than sort of uh, jumping uh, in terms of buying the stock at current levels. Uh, so uh, uh, I think it is better to sort of uh, wait uh, till budget and then only look at uh, stock uh, from that perspective because in case if uh, we were to sort of uh, get that kind of a hike, I think uh, it'll, uh, from a medium term perspective the stock could remain under pressure.